Okay, hello? So, ngayon po i-discuss ko yung mga problems uh, na, na nagpapakita ng Newton's Law of Motion in its application. Okay, so let's start with the first problem. What uh, average force is required to accelerate a 5 kilogram block from rest to final speed of 54 meters per second in 9 seconds. Okay? So, illustrate natin. Meron daw tayong 5 kg. Okay? So, from rest, meaning its initial velocity is 0 meters per second. Its final velocity is 54. The time is 9 seconds. So, what is the average force? So, first, kailangan muna natin hanapin yung acceleration kasi ang equation for finding the force is equal to MA. So, gagamitin natin yung kinet kinematic equation na VF equal to v, is equal to V not plus AP. Okay? So, since initial at rest yung ating object, so V not is equal to zero. Acceleration is equal to VF over P. So, substitute natin siya, F is equals to MA, so mass times VF over T is equals to 5 times uh, 54 over 9. So, the answer is 30 newtons or 30 kilogram meter per second square. Okay? Now, let's move on with our second problem. A 1,500 kilogram car is moving at a speed of 45 miles per hour. Okay, it comes to a stop, meaning the final velocity is equals to zero. After traveling at a distance of 200 meters. So what is the average force exerted by the brakes on the car? F is equals to MA. Wala po ulit tayong acceleration. Given this, ano daw po ang a force exerted by the car. But first, let's convert 45 miles per hour sa meters per second kasi yun po yung SI unit ng motion. So, multiply natin. 1 kilometer is equivalent to 0.6214 meters, uh, miles times um, 1 kilometer is equal to 10 raised to 3 meters sa time naman, okay, 1 hour, is equals to 60 minutes multiply by 1 minute is equals to 60 seconds. So, maiiwan na lang po tayo dyan ng uh, meters per second. Okay? So, 45 miles per hour is equals to 20.1 meters per second. Okay? So, makukuha na natin yung acceleration using the equation Vf squared is equals to V naught squared plus 2 AB. Okay, zero po to kasi it comes to a rest. So, negative V naught squared, so nilipat ko na sa kabila, is equals to 2 AB. Divide both sides by 2D. Acceleration is equals to negative V naught squared over 2D. So, compute na po natin para magsasubstitute na lang tayo. Acceleration is negative 20.1 squared over 2 times 200. So, acceleration is equal to um, negative 1.01 meters per second squared. Meaning, the car is slowing down because it is about to rest. So, makukuha na po natin yung force is equal to 1,500 times negative 1.01. So, the force exerted by the brakes on the car is negative 15, 1,515 newtons. Okay? Now, let's move on with the third problem. A horizontal force... is exerted on... 150 newtons is exerted on a 20 kilogram box. Okay, uh, which causes it move to the right? Uh, what is the acceleration if there is no friction? What is the acceleration if the kinetic friction is 0 0.25 using the acceleration with a friction? 
what is the final speed of the box after 8 seconds. First, illustrate muna natin yung mga forces na nag-act dito. Meron siyang normal force, tapos meron din po siyang weight. Okay? So, ang hahanapin natin is yung force or acceleration to the right. So, since yung object natin, nag-move lang siya sa right, meaning yung uh, net force niya sa y-axis would be equals to zero. So, ang hahanapan lang natin ay yung sa x-axis. Okay? It's equals to ma x. Ano yung mga forces sa x-axis? Since frictionless, fa. Okay? So, yung fa natin is yung 150. It's equals to the mass of the object, 20. So, acceleration, divide both sides by 20. AX is equals to 7.5 meters per second squared. Now, meron na daw tayong kinetic, uh, coefficient of kinetic friction. Based from our discussion, uh, discuss natin at si FK is equals to mu K times Fn. Okay? Wala tayong value ng Fn. Pero pwede natin yun ma-derive or ma-analyze dito sa situation. Sabi natin, yung uh, forces daw sa Y ay balance. Meaning, sa mission of all forces sa Y, Fg plus Fn. Okay? So, meron silang equal magnitude but opposite in direction. In order for us to get the weight, we use the formula Mg. So, since pareho ng magnitude, yung Fn at Fg, we can assume that Fn is equals to negative Fg. Okay? So, Fn is equals to negative Mg. Okay? So, yun yung gagamitin natin dito. Fk is equals to mu k multiplied by negative Mg. So, compute natin yung tanong sa letter B. Ano daw yung force kapag may kinetic friction? Uh, rather, ano daw yung acceleration kapag may kinetic friction na time present? So again, sa fx po lang ulit po. Kasi to the right lang siya nag-move. M, A, X. Dito magkakaroon na tayo ng uh, effect from the friction. So F, A plus friction is equals to M, A, X. Okay? So F, A is equals a plus mu k multiplied by negative mg is equals to max. Okay? So, uh, solve natin 150 plus 0 0.25 multiplied by negative 20 times 9.81 is equals to um, 20 times ax. If I divide both sides by 20, AX is equal to five point zero five meters per second squared. Okay, so based from this, ano daw yung final speed um, after eight seconds? So, pwede nating magamit yung equation na VF is equal to V naught plus AP. Okay, since at starting from rest, this is zero. So, 5.05 .05 times 8 is equals to 40.4 meters per second. Okay? Now, let's move on with this. A problem, a rope lifts up a 5 kilogram box with a tension force of 80 newton. What is the acceleration of the box? So ngayon nasa y-axis na tayo. Uh, gusto daw natin nilahin pataas yung box. Okay, with the tension force equivalent to 80 newtons. So since uh, may tension force siya, may mass, meron din yung weight. Okay, hindi gumalaw yung object natin sa x-axis, meaning... Summation of all forces sa x-axis would be equals to zero. Now, let's find the summation of all forces sa y-axis. So, meron tayong tension plus 
the weight. Okay? So, yung tension force natin, since opposite in direction siya, so pwede natin niyang uh, i-express as uh, T minus uh, weight. It's equals to MAY. So, substitute natin yung given AT minus ang FG, ang weight is MG. So, 5 times 9.81 is equals to uh, 5 times acceleration. So, divide both sides by 5. AY okay, is equal to um, 6.19 meters per second. Okay, now let's move on with our final problem. So, meron daw tayong box, inclined daw po yan. 30 degrees and it begins to slide down. Okay? What is uh, the acceleration if there is no friction? The acceleration if there is uh, kinetic friction, 0 0.20 and what is the final speed of the box? After, uh, that is 200 meters, yung inclined plane. So, first, ang gawin po na natin, alam natin nagsuslide down siya. So, our applied force would be go, uh, towards this direction. Hinihigit siya. Pababa. Okay? So, may normal force po dyan, Fn perpendicular to the surface, and meron tayong weight. So, ang, ang angle niyan, 30. So, kung ititrace natin to mga kapatid, yan, so, this is our angle. This, Fg, is equals to Mg, di ba? In order for us to get the Mn, kailangan natin kunin yung cosine. Um, rather, yes, tama. Kailangan natin kunin yung cosine nung ating angle, which is this one. And then, para makuha natin to, this is the x component ng weight. This is this part, Fg. So, yan po yun. So, kailangan natin kunin yung mg sign theta. Okay? So, kasi, bakit nangyari yun? Pag tinignan natin siya sa Cartesian plane, this is our x and this is our y. Bakit ito yung consider natin dito? Kasi, nagsaslide down pababa yung object natin. So, yung y natin, siya yung f normal force, tapos yung x natin would be the x component of our weight. Okay? So, in inclined plane, Fn, order for us to get the value of the normal force, Fn is equals to mg cosine theta and weight sa inclined plane po to is mg sine theta. Okay? So, this applies on all inclined plane situation. So, now let's find um, the acceleration. So, yung acceleration natin, since pababa siya, uh, nasa x-axis siya, kung titingnan mo siya on an inclined basis. So, nag-move lang siya sa x-axis. So, ano lang po ba yung uh, forces na nasa x-axis? So, yung weight lang, kasi wala naman tayong friction. So, Fg. So, Max is equals to itong derived a formula natin ng weight, which is mg sine theta. Okay? Disregard na natin si m kasi makakancel out din naman siya. So, ax is just simply g sine theta. Okay? ax is equals to 9.81 times sine theta. Sin the, uh, sorry, sine 30. Okay, sine 30 is... Uh, one half. So, AX is equals to 4.905 meters per second squared. Okay? So, ito po yung sa letter A. How about yung sa letter B? Yan. Karoon na daw tayong friction. So, yung kinetic, uh, coefficient of kinetic friction natin ay 0 0.20. So, friction equal yan sa mu k times Fn. Since na-derive na din natin yung formula sa Fn, so, it is also equal to mu k kapag ka um, uh, inclined plane to mg 
cosine theta. Okay? So, summation of f sa x-axis equals to max. Meron na tayong friction, so isasama na natin siya dun sa net force sa x. Meaning, f uh, g plus or rather minus kasi opposite in direction naman sila, minus fk is equals to max. Okay? fg is equals to mg sine theta minus mu k mg cosine theta is equals to max. So, alisin ko na ulit si m kasi maka-cancel out na din siya. So, ax is equal to um, g sine theta minus mu k g cosine theta. Okay? So, substitute natin 9.81 sine 30 is equals to i minus 0 0.20 times 9.81 cosine 30. So, acceleration kapag may friction ay equal sa 3.2026 meters per second squared. Okay? So, now, ano daw yung final velocity kapag after pala ng ma-reach niya, okay, the bottom, which is 200 meters. So, given the speed, uh, given the acceleration, given the um, the displacement, since the box started from rest, meaning V0 is equals to 0, so pwede natin magamit yung Vf squared is equals to V0 squared plus 2AD. Okay? So, cancel na to. Vf squared is equals to 2 times the acceleration 3.2026 multiplied by 200. So, square root. Vf is equal to 35.7916 meters per second. Okay, so that's all. Yan po yung, uh, paano po tayo mag-solve ng problems regarding Newton's law and its application. Okay? So, that is all for this day. So, I hope you had a great day ahead of you. Mag-review po para sa quiz. So, thank you mga kapatid. God bless us all.